Hi, I'm Blackbright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK and it's wonderful to have all my subscribers interacting, commenting on my videos. I absolutely love it and I love you for that. Um, if it's the first time you're passing this channel, please um, subscribe, like and share. Uh, today, these are for my subscribers who are worrying what they're going to do over Christmas while receiving universal credit. In particular, they want to know when they're going to receive um, their payments. And I'm going to tell you that in this video. Um, what I would like to say is that because um, the payments are so near Christmas and the new year, you're going to have to start managing your November budget a bit better. Um, because if you're thinking, if, you, if you've got the attitude that, oh, I'm going to get paid Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve um, and I'm not going to have any money to buy any presents and so you're going to go around borrowing money or you may think about um, you know just doing things in not, not doing things in advance but you're thinking about asking people to tide you over or if you know somebody who's getting money in you're going to say oh look um, I'm not getting paid to I'm not getting paid to Christmas Eve. I can't buy any presents. I can't get anything for my kids. Can you lend me this or can you lend me that? That's going to place you in a precarious situation. So you need to try and avoid that. Um, it's best, really. I know money is tight, but there's nothing you can't do with the December payment that you couldn't do with the November payment because you're going to be in the same situation um, unless your situation has changed your job has changed or you've done extra hours or you've got a job and so that might make a difference but other than that you're going to be receiving the same payment so try to manage your November payment so you don't see the new year in in any more debt than you may be in already or you don't increase the debt that you're in. Um, so let me tell you what the dates I have. This is from the Liverpool Echo, but I think it's standard across the board. Um, the due date, if your money would be due on the 25th of the month, um, if the due date is December the 25th, the actual pay date is Christmas Eve, uh, December the 24th. Um, if the due date is December the 26th, which is Boxing Day, the actual pay date will be the same, New Christmas Eve, 24th of December. If your due date is January the 1st, which is New Year's Day, the actual pay day will be New Year's Eve. So if you're planning to go out on the town um, for New Year's Eve, well, at least you know there's money in the bank or that your benefit payments should be in the bank, providing you're not sanctioned and you're not, you know, they're not taking money out of your bank. I think I did a video the other day where they're only allowed, they're not allowed to take more than a third out of your account anymore. So that might help ease up a little of the burden. But like I said, if you can avoid borrowing and just try to stabilise yourself and just try to keep your finances in order as best as you can so that the new year can see you in a more stable position and you can work from that. Um, it does say child benefit is usually paid every four weeks on a Monday or a Tuesday. The Christmas and New Year bank holidays do not fall on a Monday or Tuesday in England, so usual pay dates should remain the same. Universal credit and other benefits, like I said, these are paid every two weeks. Employment support allowance, income support and job seekers allowance or monthly or, or monthly um, benefits, including universal credit. If your due date is, like I said, the 25th or the 26th of December, Christmas and Boxing Day, then your benefits should be paid into your account on this Tuesday, December the 24th. If your benefits are due on the 1st of the month, Wednesday of January the 1st, then your January benefits should be paid on Tuesday, December the 31st. And remember, you know, when you're getting paid monthly, especially like Christmas, sometimes we get paid at the end of the month. And when you get paid early because of Christmas and then you're kind of thinking, oh, you know, you've got this money for Christmas, but then it seems so long when you get paid again and you actually skin in the new year. So try to manage your money well. Um, I'll take this opportunity now 
to wish you all a splendid Christmas and a prosperous new year despite what's going on around us and like I said do try to be stringent only by what's necessary and um, tell your children don't be afraid to tell your children I cannot afford it sometimes we have children and we're so hell-bent on pleasing our children or we we don't want our children to do without or we don't want our children to go to school without sometimes we think they're going to be bullied if they don't have what the other children have but we have to tell our children the truth if we're struggling they need to know the truth and you have to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your children not try to live above your means to put your children in a position where they feel comfortable but you're uncomfortable because that's what a lot of parents do i've been a parent and you know it you know we try to make our children look acceptable and we try to give our children the same as other children but not everybody's situation is the same so if you are struggling talk to your children tell them what's happened if you've lost your job say listen you know we've lost our job we're not going to have any money this year i'm not going to be able to buy that um, item i promised so this is what we're going to do we're all going to have a little picnic in the front room or we're going to do something we're going to do something together we're going to make christmas special if you celebrate Christmas and it's going to the family is going to be together but there's not going to be any presents this year what we can do is we can make presents and you can get lots of stuff from um, the works or Poundland and that might even be more exciting for your children and see what you can create for each other everybody gets together and tries to create something special for each member of the family and just do it that way I mean, in my day, I'm always talking about my day. I sound like about 90. I'm not 90. But we used to have our little stockings on the on the mantelpiece. And we, they had those stockings that had all the chocolates in it, you know, the Mars bar. And it's a little net stocking or it had a fruit in it, an orange or an apple. And they'd all be stuck onto the mantelpiece. And that's all we had. We didn't have all these presents that people have. I mean, now the standard present they're talking about is 200, 300 pounds. People are talking about X game, Xboxes and games and types that they want the latest phone for Christmas. I mean, forget it. Why should you be in debt? Because your ch children have, you know, have high needs. And probably because inadvertently in the past, you've given them what they've wanted now you might not be in that position so do try to be honest with your children they'll value it they might be sulky they might be miserable but there are other ways they might not even want to create and make anything all depends on how you've raised your children but it is do try to be creative and let them know the situation so you don't put yourself in further debt trying to protect your children and not wanting them to know what your true situation is. So I hope you found this helpful. Bye-bye.